Yellowstone is deteriorating. The supervolcano is getting a warning from scientists from their study they find. This is from Sebastian Kelly, Express UK. Yellowstone supervolcanoes ecosystems are deteriorating due to rising temperatures and harmful human activity. This is what a study has revealed. Yellowstone supervolcano researchers at Montana State University, MSU, have found distressing signs that indicate the U.S. National Park's ecosystem suffering. The doubling of human population local areas since the 1970s are taking a toll on wildlife, rivers, forests, and snows. Rising temperatures associated with effects of climate change have also fragmented natural habitats and decimated local fishing populations. The findings were published in the science journal Ecosphere under the title Trends in Vital Signs of Greater Yellowstone Application of a Wild Land Health Index. Co-author Dr. Andrew Hansen, professor, professor at MSU Department of Ecology, warned these factors are contributing to deterioration of the greater Yellowstone ecosystem. The Yellowstone expert said the study quantified trends in the condition of 35 ecological vital signs dealing with snow, rivers, forests, fire, wildlife, and fish. The so-called vital signs to the drafted health index looked at parts of Yellowstone Volcano National Park neighboring federal lands and privately owned areas. Each vital sign, ranging from steam flow and temperature to forest climate suitability, was ranked on a scale from improving to deteriorating. Dr. Hansen and colleague Linda Phillips at MSU Research Scientist said Yellowstone steam flow is currently deteriorating. The stream flow, the streams are less, have less water and snowpack and forest mortality are possibly deteriorating. The situation looks much worse on private Yellowstone land, where snowpack, stream flow and temperature, river integrity, habitat intactness, and native fishing populations are deteriorating. The Yellowstone experts attributed the worsening state of Yellowstone to human activity. Dr. Hansen said, the human population has doubled and housing density has tripled in the greater Yellowstone ecosystem since 1970, and both are projected to double again by 2050. Plus, the temperature has warmed 1.5 degrees Fahrenheit since 1950, and is projected to increase another 5.5 to 9.5 degrees Fahrenheit by 2100. These changes in Yellowstone's climate have affected the amount of local snowpack and stream flows. Higher water temperatures have also favored pest outbreaks, expanding the number of invasive species and reduced native fish populations. Dr. Hansen said, physicians use vital signs such as blood pressure to gauge the health of animals. And uh, I'll leave a link below for you so you can see the, their chart of the vital signs of snowpack, stream flows, river integrity, forest mortality, wildlife deviation, forest climate suitability, habitat interaccess, large mammals, fish. And he says what we're trying to do with the wildland health index is something similar by adding value to the data that allows a variety of people to understand the trends in ecological health. But not all parts of the Yellowstone volcano ecosystem are in red. River integrity, habitat intactness, and the number of large mammals in the wild all show signs of improving, according to the index. Wildlife deviation rates, forest climate suitability, and native fish populations also show relative signs of stability within the boundaries of the park and outlying wilderness. And according to Hansen, these promising signs are the result of the tireless work carried out by Yellowstone National Park staff caretakers outside the park's boundaries. The index trend towards uh, relative stability and deterioration rather than overall improvement. Hansen said, we have so little information about large river systems, especially on private lands. There's just no consistent monitoring of water quality on those major rivers on a scale that can tell us how well we're doing 
and that's surprising because so many people here love our blue ribbon trout streams that we are famous for, he says. In November 2017, the U.S. National Park Service, NPS, established estimated about 27% of the land in Greater Yellowstone is privately owned. That's about a third. These private lands are typically located towards the southern tips of Yellowstone, where valley bottoms and flood plains are abundant. The National Park Service said the distribution of population growth on private land is recent, in recent years is having a large impact on the ecosystem than the population increase itself. The Greater Yellowstone Inventory and Monitoring Network estimates Yellowstone populations have grown from 220,000 to 323,000 between 1990 and 2010 alone. That's about a 50% increase. I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.